Uh, again, this is my understanding. We're creating this momentum. It's going. We're helping it. He's helping it. We're both happy when it passes. And then we have these options in between, which we did. One was just to let him go. He chooses as an uke to go into a role. The second one was let him go except, boom, interrupt. Or change the momentum of his steering wheel. Change the direction, rather. His momentum going through gets steered in a different direction. Boom. His ukemi tells him, turn it into this. This one, same momentum. Nothing has changed. Speeding car going through a tunnel. Except... It's like we picked up the tunnel. He, he thinks, okay, I'm entering the tunnel. Everything is safe. I know I can't make it, so I'm going to nicely lay my body down. We shift the tunnel as he's entering it forward six inches, which changes effectively the timing of the whole thing. As he's entering the tunnel, it shifts forward. It's like we go ahead or go back in time and change the parameters. So we're becoming, in essence, a wall that he runs into. You see it? So instead of you doing the throw, this has taken me a long time to even conceptualize us not necessarily being the ones doing the throw, but creating the circumstances that allow the throw to occur. This is a big idea. Much bigger than you and I, in my opinion. When we talk about you doing the throw, okay, Jeff, I'm going to show you this, and you're going to be the one that causes him to fall to the ground. You have to do everything. Then it's about you. But when I say, Jeff, just create the circumstances that will allow the throw to unfold naturally, it's a huge idea. Because now it's not just you, it's you and he and she and he and everybody else involved as well as the dojo, the wall. The whole universe in a sense. Because it's how do we figure out how to create the circumstances that will allow the throw to naturally unfold as it's supposed to. We're not going to figure it out tonight, so don't worry. Don't try. It's a, it's a concept, but it's much bigger than you and I. This is uh, what I prefer to train with now, this concept. Because it moves it beyond me. I had enough time in, in the past 20 years to work on me and my throws and eventually hit a brick wall going, okay, new uke, okay, new uke. You can only throw so many different people before you go, that's kind of selfish of me, just throwing everybody. Have to work on something else. Ah, just be the one who creates the circumstance. Just to be the one who creates the, the scenario. Creates all the circumstances that surround it so that the throw can unfold naturally. So in this case, we're just going to set our body. We're creating the circumstances, which is continue, allowing him to attack and continuing the movement. But then we're going to set our body in a way that allows his forward momentum to run into it. Instead of you actually physically, pow, throwing Start the movement, get him moving. As he's entering, we shift this. Oh, sorry, you okay? Forward. <laughs> and he runs through. There was an echo all the way through his lungs. I won't hit you that hard this time. Boom. Yeah. Pull him through, create the wall. Give it one more, one more minute. Create the circumstances that allow the throw to occur. Oh, no, right. 